Serum just got a brand new update. Let's talk about some of the cool things that it does now. What's up guys, my name's Noah, I make music as Haterade, and you're watching The Productive Producer. Before we get started, check out my finishing music checklist, it's free, you can grab it in the description of this video. If you're having trouble finishing your music, it's a great checklist, a bunch of info in there that I use to help me finish songs faster. So let's get into what this video is about today. So Serum, if you own Serum, like you see here on the screen, uh, you can update it today. There's a brand new update that just came out with some pretty cool changes that we're going to go over right now. Um, so yeah, if you are if you bought Serum outright, you just log into your X for Records account to update it or jump on uh, Splice. If you bought it on Splice, you, you can update it from there. There's a couple of really cool things. So I made this patch, nothing crazy. It's just a, it's, you know, basic bass patch here. <laughs> So the first thing that you can do is you can now modulate points in an LFO uh, shape. So I've got this LFO right here. And you can see when I right click on it, I can go modulate X, modulate Y. And so I'll say modulate X, I'm going to modulate it to LFO 2. And LFO 2 is just, just random, just random values here. I can actually, we'll just like, yeah, make them some extreme values here all the way at the top. And uh, yeah, we'll make that a bar so it cycles through fast. So then we can go here, do the same for Y, and watch, it'll just start, this whole thing will just start jumping around. So let's try that. So you could probably get really creative with this and you can also modulate the curves too. You could you know, modulate the curve, set that to. And you could get, you could, I know all you guys, you guys, you crazy sound designers out there probably get some really awesome results out of this. So this is a really cool, uh, a really cool feature right here. I think, I mean, to get, Serum always pushes the boundaries for sound design, so uh, I'm just excited to see what you guys do with this. Um, next update is a uh, is initialize all LFO and LFO mods. So if you if you've kind of gone down the rabbit hole and you've done so many you know modulations and your LFOs doing all kinds of crazy stuff, just hit this and it will remove everything from every every LFO. So you don't have to go if you got like like I know you can have like eight LFOs now. Uh, you could just go in and remove all of that just like that. And it's super easy. This one's also pretty cool. Let's hear let's let's cycle this through real quick. Let's pick it. Yeah. Let's pick it. Okay, so that's pretty cool sound right there. So check this out. I can go, I'm gonna go onto this audio channel right here. Click back to Serum. Also, the uh, I guess another thing, another update is that they have uh, allowed Serum to scale without any pixelation. So, uh, so it looks good even when you expand it, even with your own custom skin, which this, if you're wondering where this skin comes from, it's from my buddy Shane over at Echo Soundworks. Go check out his uh his channel he's got awesome stuff over there but back to the point here we were uh there's this button right here you see this this little button you can just drag this right from serum into an audio channel just like that now you have to make sure that you consolidate it 
after you drag it into uh, into your project. Otherwise, next time you open the project, it won't um, it won't open. It'll say like, "Oh, file can't be found because Serum isn't storing those files." So you have to you have to make sure to like to consolidate and save it into the project. But that's super cool. Like, I mean, it's be much better than having to you know freeze and flatten. You could just pull that right out and yeah, just super awesome. And the last thing that I thought was really useful was the level adjustments now in uh, in the effects module. So we you know we all know about the mix knob, right? We the dry wet essentially. Uh, but now if you click that mix knob, you can adjust the output gain. It's basically an output gain for every single effect module. So if you wanted to drive the gain up super high into the compressor and then pull it down be to make up for that. And it does it for every every single effects module. And that about wraps up this video. It's a really quick video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, free finishing music checklist in the description. Absolutely free and super helpful. Got a lot of great feedback from you guys already. Um, yeah, we'll uh, see you guys next week. Got plenty more videos coming. If you have anything you want to see me cover, please just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, see you next Friday. Peace.